Christopher says, um, I'm digging my new setup. He's got a 27 inch iMac as his studio display for his new M one Mac studio. And, uh, says, I am now duplicating that for my office setup. Okay, great. Here's my question, or perhaps challenge. How do I sync all four of my computers to mirror one another, specifically the files? And he gets a little more granular because there's there's a couple of easy answers that, that I think he's going to try and take off the table for us, but we might try to put them back on. Uh, Christopher continues, I know if I use the desktop uh, for storing files, iCloud can automatically sync that to all of my Macs but the desktops will look like my windshield during love bug season in Florida. Very, very messy. What is a better option? I see Chronosync express on setup. Is this a good option? I know there's always iCloud, which is what would be syncing your desktop uh, and the documents, which is where I file the majority of my files, except my downloads and a couple of files that I have in the sidebar for quick access. This is where syncing in con continuity becomes really important. How to mirror between the four Max. So, yeah, iCloud Documents is certainly the easiest way if you if you're using iCloud storage or you have enough iCloud storage, even with the free plan, to do what you want to do. Uh, but it doesn't work on all folders; just those specific ones, desktop and documents. In fact, I think it's called desktop and documents syncing when you click that checkbox in there. Uh, Chronosync is one option. Uh, another one is called Resilio Sync. This used to be called BitTorrent Sync, but they changed the name because, uh, because well, people weren't using it because they're like, oh, I, I don't want to use torrents. I don't want to get in trouble with that or whatever. This is, this, there's enough, there's no trouble to get into here. R BitTorrents are peer to peer. BitTorrent is a peer to peer protocol, which means you can, uh, you don't need a server in order for multiple computers to, coordinate sharing data with one another. That's really the way to, to sort of zoom out and say it. And so Resilio Sync takes that technology and lets you sync a folder or multiple folders between multiple devices. It doesn't all have to be Macs. It's very much a, a uh, you know, cross-platform thing, Linux, Windows, you know, FreeBSD, obviously Mac OS. And... There is a free version that might do what you want. And then there's paid versions where you can, you know, either, I think it's a one-time license for the the paid versions. Yeah, it's 35 bucks. Uh, oh, it's 99 bucks a one-time license for a family or 60 bucks uh, for a one-time license for one person. And that just gives you some more granular options. But try the free one at Resilio Sync because that, it's essentially like setting up your own Dropbox with multiple folders without using a server at all all the computers become it's just a peer-to-peer -peer thing so everybody's the server if you will so that's what comes to mind for me i realize i might have overcomplicated this anybody have any thoughts um, well if you have a synology there's synology drive me for sure yeah 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 that i mean that that would be the obvious answer it, yeah if you have a synology synology drive works great yeah, that's what I'm using, and so that's why I forgot about Resilio Sync um, because Resilio is, is great. But you know, he mentioned the other thing, and and like you said, we're going to put a free option back on the table. My idea to to quote unquote hack this one would be to put one folder on your desktop, name it, you know, Triple A or something like that, so it's easily fine. Put subfolders in that, drag that one folder even over to your left sidebar and Finder, and that'll give you instant access to all the subfolders and files that you could put in there. That's yeah. It's kind of a, I, it's a, it's a free hack. No, that's the, that's yeah. it, yes. Or you can, and you could do the same thing with your documents folder. I, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Any, it, any of the folders that, uh, that iCloud syncs automatically. Sure. The only issue would be downloads, right? And so you could set your default downloads. Look, you could change your default downloads location to be inside one of these synced folders for sure uh, or you could use something like hazel to watch your downloads folder and move the the you know the, the the files that appear there over to some other synced folder i would caution syncing a the downloads folder and i think there's a reason apple doesn't do this and that's because we wind up downloading a lot of things 
that may quickly fill up our iCloud storage without us intentionally doing anything, right? I know I realize downloading things is intention, but we're not saving them to a folder that we know is synced. We're just letting these downloads sort of happen to a place that happens to be synced. And my guess is that's why Apple isn't isn't doing that. But um, but you you know you can. There are ways of of redirecting the downloads folder. Safari lets you set it, and other other browsers do too. So that would that would be uh, you know an, a, another way of like you said the free hack if you're if you're looking for that. So. Sure.